Renegade Wireline Services had purchased and implemented a device called RigLock, manufactured by FHE. Path to Goal Zero leads us to innovation that minimizes risk and improves our competitiveness and efficiency. The Appalachia Completions Team ways to reduce risk for the people working in our business. Hydraulically controlled device that can connect the lubricator to the well with the flip of a switch. I got to thinking about two of the worst incidents that Renegade has seen. Both involved personnel working in an aerial lift. The physical rig lock that will sit on top of the frack tree, the wireline adapter attached to the bottom of the lubricator, and the control unit that can be placed on the side of location and uses various monitors to show wellhead pressure. The control unit has various safety features that keep us from unlocking the lubricator with pressure and serves as a barrier to prohibit inadvertently unlocking the rig lock. We worked with one of our vendors to modify the rig lock and create an extractor that could pull and insert the nightcap remotely into an integral part of oil field operations. The person is working at heights in an exclusion zone directly underneath a suspended load with their hands on the equipment being lifted. Frack operations required the nightcap to be removed manually from the frack tree in order to stab the wireline lubricator onto the well. Standard procedure for this was for a worker to be lifted into the air using an aerial lift while coordinating with the crane operator to attach and detach equipment by hand to and from the well. Once wireline operations ceased, the worker would remove the lubricator, insert the frack plug ball into the wellhead, and then reattach the nightcap before beginning pumping operations. Using the aerial lift method, stabbing onto the well would take an average of 25 minutes. With the rig lock, we can do it in eight. Also, while zipper fracking multi-well pads, wireline could not move on to the next well until pumping operations ceased because workers are not allowed into high pressure areas. But by eliminating the need for people to work by the wellhead, Wireline can jump from one well to another while pumping operations continue uninhibited, taking Wireline completely out of the critical path. 